Understanding Authoritarian Regime, A Simple Guide Hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning behind a term that often pops up in news and discussions about politics, authoritarian regime. We'll break it down in simple terms, so you can fully understand what it means and how it applies in various contexts around the world. Let's dive in. An authoritarian regime refers to a form of government where power is concentrated in the hands of a single leader or a small group of individuals. These leaders have almost total control over the state's affairs, with little or no input from the citizens. In an authoritarian regime, freedoms and democratic processes, such as free elections and freedom of speech, are severely limited or non-existent. The main goal of such a regime is to maintain power and control over the population, often through censorship, surveillance, and repression of any form of opposition. There are several key features that distinguish authoritarian regimes from other forms of governance. First and foremost is the centralization of power. Unlike democracies, where power is distributed across different branches of government, Authoritarian regimes have a centralized power structure. Limited political pluralism is another hallmark. This means there's a lack or complete absence of opportunities for the public to participate in political decision-making processes. Political opposition is often suppressed, and elections, if they occur, are not genuinely competitive. Control over information is crucial in authoritarian regimes. The government typically controls the media and the flow of information to the public, ensuring that only the official narrative is heard. This helps prevent dissent and maintain the regime's image. Lastly, enforcement mechanisms, such as the police and military, are used to suppress opposition and ensure the populace remains obedient. Human rights violations are unfortunately common in such systems, with the government justifying these actions as necessary for national security or public order. Throughout history and in contemporary times, there have been numerous examples of authoritarian regimes. Without naming specific countries, these regimes can be found all over the world and vary in their methods of governance. Some may have a charismatic leader who dominates the political landscape, while others are controlled by a political party or military junta. Despite these differences, they all share the characteristics mentioned earlier. Centralized power, limited political freedom, control over information, and the use of force to maintain order. Understanding the concept of an authoritarian regime helps us appreciate the value of democratic principles and human rights. It's crucial to be aware of these terms, as they not only enrich our knowledge of global politics but also remind us of the importance of participation and vigilance in preserving freedom. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been informative and enlightening. Stay curious, and see you in the next one.